Hi guys, uh, has been on this uh, VMC mini bike here for almost three months now. So, thinking do a short review update about how this bike performs. Been taking it to the track almost every week, and so far I really loved it. Handle very well. I have the uh, the rear shock adjust that I've set up to my weight. I handle a lot better now that I'm still on stock tire you can see still uh, stock tire I'm going really like rip it out today you can tell all the way to the edge I handle pretty well I start to get used to with the tire now so not much sliding here I get a lot faster lap time compared to my old valley with a PMT on it can imagine if I put PMT on this bike, I get probably a lot faster time. Everything going great, good. Really happy. The tank is first. I I love the tank now. It, it, I get I feel more connected to the bike with this tank than the Ovali. The brake is good. Seen a change in the new master cylinder. Adeli, very good now. Brake great. Everything works as a suit. New exhaust, perfect. I do recommend uh, change to a new exhaust. This one I bought in China, cheap, like 35 bucks, 32, 35, forgot. I think 32 and then with the tag is 35. Perfectly fine. Pick car, everything, carbs. As you can tell, engine run great. Really happy with this uh, bike. Three months already, I've been bitten out every week been it full throttle running great i gotta keep the stock uh, tire here keep running for probably another couple of months it still have a lot of life in here as you can see at least like three or four more track dates and then i gotta buy the uh, kendall wick kd2 i used to have the kd1 it's really good KD2 is good for me. I think it's, it, 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 people say it's better, so I think it should work well for me. It's gonna be better than this tire. PMT is nice but expensive, so I on budget, so I try to keep it as cheap as I could. So far, I'm very happy. It started right away, it didn't fail me any time. <laughs> One thing I noticed, um, I'm looking for the rear sprocket here in the United States. It's almost the same one as the uh, Ovali GP2. I couldn't find anyone here in the United States selling it or in China, AliExpress. Um, Ovali website, they sell it, but really like, expensive, like 50 bucks something. 50 or more than 50. I think uh, two options, one is 50, one is like 62. So I contact the seller and I order four from her. It's like twenty dollar each, really cheap. So I've ordered four of them, and I already receive it perfectly fine. So if you decide to buy this bike, I do recommend buy extra rear sprocket. The space between these two, I think, like eighty, eighty five, eighty two. I don't know. I will make the video update so you guys maybe be able to find it. I couldn't. There's one website they say it's custom made, but it costs about forty five bucks. So why not just order from her from the seller, twenty bucks ship straight to you, right? I mean, like if you buy in the United States, it still costs you twenty or more. The front one is just standard, so you can find everywhere. But the rear one, it's three bolt, like the uh, Old Valley. GPO and GP2. This one is 33 teeth and the front is 16 teeth. I'm thinking to change the gear ratio too. 
maybe 14 the front see how much it pull the top speed I, I get about like 72 73 I'm 160 pounds if you lighter I, I think you could get faster because the track here I have the straight line only like about 700 feet or less so not very really long I get about one time I am brave you no know, I go straight I try to max speed it out I get about 72 and then I, I end up in the crash <laughs> it could get faster if I hold the gas longer if I have a longer straight but 70 miles an hour is very a lot for this track already this is a small track cab track very small like 0.5 mile or 0.7 mile bye guys bye we will do update if I have any more information or anything new. Alright, bye guys.